Hey, what's up? It's Jeff Exclamation Point Gang. I'm in New York City. I am currently in the, I'm gonna mispronounce this, the Minskoff Theater, seeing The Lion King. I have, first off, yeah, that's, that's the view, even though I'm seriously backlit. <laughs> but I have wanted to see this show for years. I have never seen it, could never get tickets. And lo and behold, I get to New York, my flight arrived early, I get to the hotel early, and I had just enough time, like I kid you not, 20 minutes before this started, got the ticket, and then rushed here. And now we are in intermission. I am so happy to be back in the theater world here in New York City. Like, you have no clue. This is my happy place. But let's go take a look at this theater, because I've never seen it. But here we go. That's the lobby area. And they have really cool masks from the show. There's a photo right there. There's the Ed mask. And we'll just kind of walk around and take a look over here. Got all the merch there. And you better believe I will be doing some shopping here. I do like the uh, little patches there. That's pretty cool. They got snow globes for like 65 bucks. That's what it looks like. Sweatshirts and plushes, and Disney does all the amazingly good merch. I mean, come on. That shirt is pretty impressive right there. And the fanny pack. Oh, geez. I'm going to go broke. And down here, this is the entrance coming in, and this is what I'll be saying as I exit. This theater is just impressive. Here we go, this is the very back of the auditorium in the orchestra section. And I'm actually sitting like right down over there. I got a pretty good seat. But let's go down there and take a look at from the front. I cannot tell you how badly I have missed the theater. And I am so happy to be back. But we'll go down here to the very front and see what everything looks like. So we are at the stage. And gang, here is the theater. No crazy uh, chandeliers here, but they do have a lot of sparkles going into the lights. If that picks up, I don't know. But there we go. That's what the theater looks like. So here's what it looks like. Is what it looks like from the uh, the balcony. Hey. So intermission is just about over. I'm gonna head back to my seat, and I'm gonna tell you my uh, whole experience with the show when it's over. See you then. guys out of the show please forgive the extremely foggy glasses the lion king it was dated i'm not gonna lie i'm like the show opened up in the 90s it was dated uh you could definitely tell the transitions were not as smooth 
as a current production. But as soon as that thing started, it just oozed Julie Taymor and her style of direction and the way she does puppets. All right, so I made my way. We're in the uh, center of the universe here. Made it to Times Square. Let me tell you, I just love the electricity in this square, like you wouldn't believe. So one of the things I was very impressed with, right behind me, there's Hamilton. What? Oh, let's get this off, I'm outside. There we go. So one of the things that really impressed me with that show was the use of shadow puppets and the use of shadows. It was uh, mind-blowing just to see what they accomplished. Oh, all right. Dang, I'll get back to you. It's cheesecake time. All right, I'm back at the hotel. I am just happy to be back in the theater world. And seeing that show in its original theater, like I had never seen a traveling production of The Lion King. It was a dream come true to be able to see that show. And right now, today is February 1st, right now is an amazing time to be in New York. This is usually when I take my vacation and go travel because this is like off season for almost everything. And Broadway is just trying to get people back in the theaters. So right now they're offering this amazing like two for one deal. So buy one ticket, it'll give you a second one for free, which is crazy. Uh, not all shows are doing that. There are some shows that are still like on wait lists. Uh, six is probably the hardest one to get right now. But I'm being told by people in the industry, because of COVID, everyone has been canceling their vacation plans. And even I was thinking about canceling my vacation plans. Then I heard I could pretty much get a ticket to whatever I wanted to see. And I was like, yep, and I'm going. <laughs> so Lion King was amazing. It was beautiful. I cried like five or six times. Let me tell you, I am not a fan of theater that the performers break the fourth wall. I want you to stay on the stage. <laughs> That's where I want you. I want to watch you on the stage. I don't want you in my lap. I want to observe. I don't want to be part of it with traditional theater. This show, I was perfectly okay with them breaking the fourth wall because let me tell you, when that elephant walked past me, even though I knew it was going to walk past me, I still freaked out. How the show started with uh, Rafiki on the stage, but then two other performers were in the balconies singing and I just was not expecting how immersive uh, that was, even though I knew it was an immersive experience. But I'm back in the hotel. I need to get some sleep because I haven't slept a lot. But I did my typical New York things. And let me show you what's for dinner. Now also, if you've seen any of the uh, past vlogs I've done here, you know pretty much every night of this vacation is going to involve a slice of cheesecake from Junior's. The cheesecake was $9 a slice, and it is worth every single penny if it is as good as I remember. And tonight's cheesecake, there we go. Junior's Carrot Cake Cheesecake. Oh dear lord. Look at that. This is the dinner of champions right here. Holy cow. So I'm going to partake in this food. You already know it's going to be amazing. And I'm going to get some sleep and I'll see all you guys on the next one. All right. Take care, everyone. Have fun. Theater is back. Yay. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye-bye.